Israeli archaeologists believe they've uncovered new evidence about King Hezekiah, and they say it supports the biblical account he destroyed the high places and idols in the land of Israel. John Waki shows us what they found. This latest discovery by Israeli archaeologists goes back to the first temple period, about 800 B.C. They say it appears to parallel the Bible from the time of King Hezekiah. Hezekiah reigned 29 years here in Jerusalem, and Scripture says he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, so that there was no king like him after him in Judah. But Hezekiah had trouble in his kingdom. This gate shrine was uncovered during recent excavations in the Tel Lahish National Park of central Israel. The city gate in the biblical period, it's something that plays that everything is going on inside. Archaeologist Sa'ar Ganor said ancient Lahish was an important city, second only to Jerusalem. Closing to the wall, we have a lot of uh, uh, benches with a pilaster, uh, with a, a white pilaster, with air armrest that people can sit. Elders, judges, and kings would have sat here in the administrative headquarters. Scoops, jars, and handles also point to the royal and administrative nature of the gate. We found a lot of jars uh, that call Lamelech jars. It means belong to the king. Other discoveries indicate the presence of cults and that Hezekiah dealt harshly with them. That evidence included two horned altars, with the horns cut off. 2 Kings 18.4 reads, King Hezekiah removed the high places, smashed the sacred stones, and cut down the Asherah poles. Archaeologists also talked of a significant and somewhat humorous sign of the times. A special find that we have in this uh, place, we have the toilet. It's a cube with a hole in, uh, in the middle. Also in 2 Kings, Scripture says Jehu broke down the sacred pillar and altar of Baal and made it a latrine to this day. And now it's the first time that we, have, uh, uh, that we can identify the story from the Bible in uh, Tel Achish with the toilets. These pieces offer proof of the Bible's telling of what Hezekiah did. With the removing the horns, uh, canceling the, uh, the Holy of the Holies, of the gay shrine that we found, and the toilet make it impure. In part of the excavation, they dug through more than a foot of destruction and found arrowheads and slingshots that, according to Ganor, confirms the conquest of Assyrian King Sennacherib. It's like to uh, take the Bible uh, in your hand. Ganor added, the Bible can stand on its own. We don't need to prove the Bible. We have the Bible and we have archaeologists. If it's matching, it's matching. Here in our story, it's matching. John Wagi, CBN News, Jerusalem.